PN junction diode characteristics. So, this is for the circuit for PN junction diode characteristics. So, in this PN junction diode characteristics, so the voltage versus current, that means characteristics. So, the first one is forward bias and the second one is reverse bias. So, in this circuit in the forward bias, so we can use uh, one diode. So, the diode name is so silicon diode. So, that number is I n 4 0 0 7 actually. So, this is for silicon diode and one more diode is having that is a Gina diode. So, this is for a silicon diode, silicon diode here the diode is. So, the silver coat is anode and the black coat is cathode. So, that is silver coat is P and black coat is N. So, it is P N junction diode. Okay. So, in this diode the cutting voltage is for 0 0.7 why because this is for silicon diode so, or else germanium diode the cutting voltage is 0 0.3. So, in this experiment so we are using this diode and uh, having two meters are there. So, one is the ammeter. So, another one is voltmeter. So, that voltmeter range is 0 to 30 volts we can vary and uh, ammeter range is we can use 0 to 200 milliamps and then. So, then next we are using one more resistor. So, that is 1 k resistor, this is 1 k resistor. So, how to calculate 1 k resistor? We already discussed about the period of previous sessions, we already discussed about that resistance. So, and then, then finally, this is for variable power supply. So, this is the symbol of power supply. So, physically we are showing this is power supply. Okay. And in this power supply symbol, we are having one arrow mark is there. Why? Because using the arrow mark is this is where like the arrow mark is that is a means of variable power supply that is why are using arrow. Okay. So, this is for power forward bias phase injection diode. So, now let us connect and build the circuit for the breadboard. So, this is for breadboard. So, breadboard means we are already discussed about the previous lab also breadboard. Here the breadboard is two vertical holes is shorted, horizontal lines is not shorted because we are using the circuit the breadboard vertical lines we are shorted. So, now build the circuit the first forward bias junction. So, this is for a diode. So, this is for diode. So, diode cathode is connected to the ground. So, here the white coat or silver coat is cathode. So, cathode is connected to ground here ground connected to and somewhere of the breadboard here. Okay. So, this is for uh, all horizontal lines and this is for vertical lines. Why? Because horizontal lines is connected to the ground, vertical lines will connect to the normal breadboard operation. Okay. Then next one more uh, component is there, this is for resistor. So, resistor is connected to somewhere in the breadboard. So, like connected to the resistor. Okay. So, now, so ammeter is there, so ammeter positive and ammeter negative. So, here two multimeters is there. So, I am taking one meter multimeter is taking for ammeter. So, another multimeter is taking for voltmeter. So, this is for multimeter and connected to the ammeter. So, having a two knobs is there. So, this is for red is connected to the positive and black is considered to negative. So, in this ammeter two uh, two terminals is there. So, one is the positive terminal and is a negative terminal. So, the ammeter positive is connected to the ammeter positive is connected to the other end of the diode C other end of the diode. So, see here two vertical lines are there. So, two vertical lines are there is shorted why because the connection will be shorted. So, next uh, ammeter negative negative means common ground. So, negative is connected to the diode of the anode for silicon diode. Okay. So, ammeter connection is over and then next to voltmeter. So, voltmeter will consider this is another multimeter. So, the voltmeter positive will take. So, this is for connecting wires. So, multimeter knobs will directly will not put inside the breadboard. So, we can use one wire and connect the so here. So, positive is connected to the ammeter sorry positive is connected to the diode positive. So, diode positive means anode. So, we can connect here okay. 
and uh, then voltmeter negative is connected to the ground as shown in the circuit the ground the ground. So, this is for ground. Okay. So, we will connect all voltmeter and ammeter then finally, we can connect in power supply that means variable power supply. So, variable power supply the positive will take another end of resistor and the ground is connected to the is a common ground for all we can connect ground. Okay. So, now the circuit build is completed. So, then next start the experiment. Okay. So, as per the p n junction diode characteristics. So, we can take voltage versus current this that means, this is a characteristics we are the we are draw the table. So, R p s means regulator power supply and uh, V f voltage for forward bias and current for forward bias. Why? Because we are using for forward bias. So, as the circuit is the first of all we can vary the power supply this is for variable power supply. So, as per the circuit as per the experiment we can vary build the vary the power supply and uh, the output getting corresponding take voltage and current as well as parallelly. So, multimeter will on. So, this is for voltage and this is for current milliamps. Okay. So, the experiment procedure is first we have to vary the power supply like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and getting current and voltage note down parallelly current and voltage. So, first of all, so we can vary the power supply like 0 starting 0. So, what is the current value 0 and voltage value 0, voltage value 0. So, 0, 0, 0. Then next we have to increase the variable power supply like 0 0.1. So, what is the current value 0. what is the voltage value 0 0.15, what is the current value 0. Then next we can increase current sorry increase the variable power supply 0 0.3. So, what is the current reading 0, voltage reading 0 0.29, then increase 0 0.4. So, what is the voltage value 0 0.40 and current is 0 0.1. So, as see he observe in this observe the so the voltage value is 0 0.4 when the current will start 0 0.1. Okay. So, so have to observe the table the current through the diode will be change the current through the diode will be change. So, that voltage is called cutting voltage for a silicon diode. Now, in this experiment the cutting voltage is 0 0.4 volts for silicon diode. Okay. So, automatically they can increase the power supply like 0 0.5, 6 and 7, 1 volt, 2 volt, 3 volts. The voltage will be increase and current also increase, but whenever the start the conduction is current in 0 0.4 the diode for cutting voltage. So, up to finally, they can vary the voltage for up to 0 0.6 volts. Why? Because the cutting voltage 0 0.4. Okay. So, this is for forward bias. So, for example, like we will draw simple draw graph. So, the x axis for voltage and y axis for current milliamps. So, so uh, voltage uh, x axis plus voltage means we can apply the voltage sources like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. The current also 0 and 0 0.1. 0 0.2, 0 0.3 like 0 0.4 and 0 0.6, 0 0.8. So, like this slope first 0, 0 we can put 0, also 0, also 0 as per the table. Next 0 0.1 here we will put the point and slightly increasing 0 0.2 and 0 0.4, 0 0.3. So, the like this graph is this is for forward bias for p n junction diode. Okay. So, this is for forward bias and then Next one more circuit is there that is for reverse bias. So, reverse bias means we can diode even put in in reverse direction. So, this is for diode 
So, previously the circuit is diode positive is connected to the diode positive means anode is connected to the ammeter negative and cathode is connected to the ground. Here the reverse bias the diode anode is connected to the ground and cathode is connected to the ammeter. So, you can connect in reverse direction. Okay. So, the reverse direction. So, in this reverse bias characteristics, so we can use only for micro ammeter. So, why using the micro ammeter for the reverse bias silicon diode? For the reverse bias silicon diode, the current is getting very less current for silicon diode. So, that is why we are using for micro ammeters. So, micro ammeter the current will be less value will get generated for micro ammeters for using silicon diode that is why we are getting for we are using for micro ammeter. So, we will go for same procedure again we will start 0 again we will start 0 0 0. Okay. So, like what, what is the value of reverse bias table same table we can generate. So, same table we can generate. So, R p s so voltage for reverse bias and current for reverse bias reverse bias. We can use the same procedure, we can vary the variable power supply like 1 volt, 2 volt, 3 volt and 4 volt. Previously, we have the forward bias, we can increase the power supply 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and 0 0.8. What is the difference between that voltage and this varying this voltage? Because, so in micro milliammeters for forward bias, we can generate more current. So, in reverse bias, we will get the current is very less current. So, that is why we can increase voltage level should increase more values. So, that is why increasing 1, 2, 3, 4. So, maybe we can take starting value 0, 0 okay. and then 0 0.1 what is the value we can check. So, 0 0.2 what is the value? So, 0 0.3 and current 0 sorry we can put in micro ammeter. Why? Because we have a device bias in connect in micro ammeter na? that is why we have to put in micro ammeters. Okay. Like next 0 0.4, so 0 0.6, so 0 0.6 what is the value? So, 0 0.61 0 then increase 1. So, 1 increasing 0 0.9 0 0.1 micro amps. So, then next 1.2. So, 1.2 0 0.1. So, 2.3 2.3 0.2. So, likely will uh, the variable power supply increase, the voltage will increase and also current will increase. Okay. So, same at the procedure will kill the same procedure, we can take. So, the characteristics graph for reverse bias. So, reverse bias is x axis will taking for, so x axis will taking for uh, voltage, sorry here, here the graph. So, we are uh, we reverse bias and uh, y axis in will take current reverse bias. So, we can take the voltage we have to vary 1, 2, 3, 4, the current will increase 10 micrograms, 20 micrograms and 30 micrograms and 40 micrograms. I have to convert in the amps. So, we can put build the, build the graph here in value. We can show the graph like this here the reverse bias characteristics and also previously discussed in forward bias characteristic here the so forward bias. This is for forward bias graph and this one is reverse bias graph. So, this is the main thing of uh, p injection diode characteristics and thank you.